Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where we are currently working on paying down our debt a little bit as well as working up our investment pool and I just noticed there's an opium input goods shortage here. That's exciting. Well I guess we'll try to import it from the British market. I mean that makes sense. We'll import some. There's not a lot that we can import though. It kind of is what it is. We've got low market access in Westphalia and Prussian Saxony. We can work on those but for the time being our finances are the primary issue right now. Now we're negative on our influence due to something. Defensive packs, protectorates, puppets, because we're bankrolling Hanover. So actually we no longer need to do that. We should stop bankrolling Hanover here. There we go. That puts us back positive in our influence and that'll save us some cash. So that's great. Every week, we're adding about 13.4k into the investment pool, and I think that's great. Overall, that looks really, really good. So we're paying down our debt here, and that's completely and totally fine. We are also working on bringing up that investment pool. Once the investment pool reaches about maybe a million... Yeah, once the investment pool reaches perhaps a million, we'll resume our construction and then let it just burn from the investment pool and then pause it again once the investment pool is depleted. That might be a plan. So we have paused construction, right? That's definitely a thing that's happening right now. And if we look in our situation, we do have a couple of states in turmoil. We're working on it. We have three unproductive trade routes, dye, sugar, and sugar. Okay, fair enough. Opium is expensive, and we have low market access in Westphalia and Prussian Saxony. Now, I do want to take a quick look here at Westphalia, which we're already building a railway. And then Prussian Saxony. That's Prussian Anhalt there. Uh, which one of these is Prussian Saxony? This is Saxony proper here. So I assumed it would be near Saxony. But perhaps that's an incorrect assumption. Ah, right here. Okay, so what's going on with the market access? There? Minus 25% from unincorporated state. Okay, so how do we go about incorporating that state? It will cost us 53 bureaucracy. Done. We'll get that incorporating. And we can also build a railway here. So we'll go ahead and queue that up, and we can get our construction queue here. I want to move that railway up to the top. Where did it go? That's interesting. I don't see it here. Oh, there are two pages. That would do it. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and alt-click that to move it to the top. And that's not to the top of the page. That is just plain to the top. Now, I don't necessarily want it on top here. We're going to move it on down like so. There we go. And we'll just position it about here. Cool. So let's go ahead and take on forward. And we've now got about 300,000 in our investment pool. So that's great. We've also paid down our debt to about 8 million. All is looking good there. Mecklenburg and Nassau supports us. A confederation with Mecklenburg. They've agreed to join our our growing confederation. So, yeah, we annex Mecklenburg. Done. So we should definitely incorporate this state as well. So we'll get that going. And did we have another unincorporated state? Because I feel like we had another one. Can we see, like... That's the country's trade lens, military, diplomatic. It might be under political lens. Incorporate state. Prussian Saxony and Mecklenburg. Okay. So those are already being incorporated. Got it. That's always great. So we're going to take on forward here. Oh, and I did want to say there was a new version of the game this morning. It's a very small patch. There's only one change here. Let me uh, swap over real quick. There we go. Changed so that trade centers cost one infrastructure per 10 levels instead of one infrastructure per level. So 
that feels like on the surface that it's a pretty major change because, you know, it's a 10% reduction in the infra infrastructure reduction. Or the infrastructure usage, I should say. But honestly, I feel like it's probably not that big of a deal. So we have five battalions in reserve right now. We should recruit a general. And that would be in the North Germany HQ. That costs another 10 bureaucracy. Our bureaucracy is dropping negative right now. And that's primarily due to our trade routes and our education. Okay. So we need to expand our government administration. That's pretty clear. And where do we want to do that at? Well, wherever it would lose the least at. And that'll be like Westphalia. So I'm going to bring that up to size 5. And we're going to go to the next page here. And boom, boom, boom. All to the top. Okay. So we're currently at 325,000. I'm going to unpause our construction here. And we're going to immediately dip negative in our cash. That's interesting. I expected it to pull out of the investment pool, but it's only pulling 73k out of the investment pool. There must be a limit to how much it can pull out of the investment pool at any given time. Fascinating. So chemical bleaching has been unlocked. Bone china paper bleaching and rubber mastication unlocked. Cool. So we can make our way down over here, and we're now done with this route. So let's just go left to right here. Improve fertilizer. Fantastic. Let's also hop into our buildings and see if there's any that we can upgrade production methods on. Sewing machines. Done. Bone china. Done. Anything else here? Not there. Okay. Just checking here. Slaughtering production method for a livestock. Okay. Interesting. So is this indicating that we don't have any of these chosen? Because this icon is different. That's for sure. We're just not prioritizing one over the other, I think. We're a little bit more down the middle, is my guess. Okay, so we're currently slightly positive. Now we're going back to negative. How long until we get these government administrations expanded, though? 12 weeks? I mean, we're just tearing through our investment pool. We've only got enough in our investment pool for another two weeks. But I think that that's probably okay. I wouldn't mind getting these government administrations done because I don't want to be negative in our bureaucracy. Yeah, that's giving us tax waste. So I do want to get these government administrations dealt with. The only question is... How long will that be? Eight more weeks? Sure. And we're building a lot more things as well. Not just the government administrations. This is why it's so expensive. But that's fine. Okay. Um, why are our HQs popped up here? Oh, there's a diplomatic play going on in Italy. Okay. So we're going to lean Papal States here. Two Sicilies is not going to be very useful. <laughs> now, we can't actually support the Papal States yet, but we're going to lean that way. Cool. And how long until we have these government administrations done? Five weeks. We should be fine. Yeah, we're running a pretty major deficit for the moment. But let's just get these expanded. Cool. Three weeks on our government administration here. Two weeks. One week. France sided with the Papal States, and that caused two Sicilies to back down. Okay. Sounds good. So they realized that they weren't getting anywhere, and that's expected. The wood is currently quite expensive. No shockers there. An import route here from the Russian market would not be very useful. 
I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, so our government administration in, West in Westphalia is now done. Or rather, our government administrations just in general are now done. So we're working on incorporating those states. And do we want to continue deficit spending right now or do we want to pause? I kind of want to continue deficit spending for the moment. I wouldn't mind finding out what happens when you default, but I'd like to make a pause before we do that. And because we're in control over whether we default or not, right? So I'd like to make a, a save before we do that. Oh, a confederation with Hess. Yes. Hess wants to join us. One step closer to unification. Okay, so that was this over here. We'll need to incorporate that. Consider it done. There's also a monument to the king. A statue of King Friedrich Wilhelm von, Ho von Hohenzollern was commissioned, and I definitely nailed that, and it has been suggested that, that it be displayed proudly in Prussian Anhalt. Direct is how you would describe the look on the face of the statue when it smiles down on you. Eyes that flicker in the opposite direction of the sun, though maybe you're just imagining it. Okay, so we would gain additional prestige here. Cool. That'll be fine. Okay, we have more battalions in reserve. So we need another general here. The fact that these are divided between these HQs the way that they are is awkward. I feel like this guy could get more battalions. He currently commands 8, but he has a command limit of 60. So, could we consolidate some of these together? North Germany, Poland, Rhine, North Germany, North Germany, and North Germany. Like, these two could definitely be combined together, right? So, how do we move these into here without recruiting new generals? Can we not? Maybe we can't do that. That would be weird. Because we're spending bureaucracy on these guys, right? And I really feel like we should be able to combine these together. Now, this guy, these guys are all in the North Germany HQ. So why would we not be able to combine these? We can retire this guy. And those battalions get distributed? Yes. That's a little strange. Okay. Well, we're going to continue our deficit spending for the moment. Cool. So we need wooden tools, eventually. We have an unhealthy economy right now, and two of our states are currently in turmoil. That's expected, for the moment. Should be fine. We have some unproductive trade routes. I'm not shocked about that. And I'm not shocked about any of this either. The market access here is reduced, primarily due to the fact that these are unincorporated states. And we're working on incorporating them. They want us to ag enact agrarianism, and we definitely do not want to do that. Our credit cap is almost going up faster than our amount of credit is. Now that's interesting. Have we hit some sort of a critical mass here? I'm wondering. That's a possibility, actually. We're making a lot of construction progress here. And I'm keeping an eye on our credit situation. For the moment, it seems to be reasonably okay. We do have some more turmoils going on. For the moment, that seems to be reasonably fine. And we're just working our way through our constructions. Okay, this credit cap hasn't increased in a while. Noted. Noted. 
absolutely noted. So our tooling workshops here are going to be done soon. That will help our tools expensive government goods. That'll be great. We're definitely building a lot. And there's an event here. Ah, another confederation. One step closer to unification. So Saxe Weimar. Cool. I don't know where that is. Uh, we're going to hop into the political lens then and do it this way. State actions, incorporate state. Um, apparently that's not an available option. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Yeah, I don't know where that was. But it's fine. Uh, maybe we needed to tick forward to let that update. No, that all looks fine. There's nothing to incorporate, so... Sure. Looks good. Up to 12.8 million. Honestly, I'm reasonably content with this. We're down to plus 13 in our construction queue. So we're 37 weeks until completion of our construction queue at this moment. We have a lot of progress happening. And that's great. Our economy is actually strengthening quite a lot from this deficit spending. Yeah, we're heavily in debt. And yeah, that's okay. I don't see a problem with it. Building these things faster is always better. Up to 13 million credit cap now. Excellent. So we can see that our expenditures are starting to drop. We're probably going to have to pause our construction at some point in the near-ish future. But for now, this is going great. Okay, just wanted to check through those to make sure that we weren't being embargoed. It looks fine. Cool. So I'm going to retire this guy if we can. I want to... We can't... Oh, we retire him like this. There we go. And then those move up here. We should be able to retire this guy as well. Actually, we can't. Is he... Let's see. He is in North Germany. This guy is going to be at his cap, isn't he? Yes. So he's at his cap. Sounds good. We do have some expiring obligations. I'm not too concerned about that at this moment. I'm keeping a close eye on our credit right now. Food industries are going to be done. And there we go. So yeah, we're doing very, very well at this point. Now, we are expecting more of these to get queued up eventually. As we finish these up. But our deficit is getting smaller, and our credit cap is going up. I think not quite at the same rate, but kind of close to the same rate. It's a similar rate, I would argue. Cool. Our construction queue is going to start emptying fairly soon. We're making a lot of revenue from... Hello, a confederation with Lubeck? Done. So that's up over here. We'll incorporate that. Beautiful. So I want to check once again. I feel like we missed a confederation, or not a confederation, an incorporation. But it doesn't look like it. It must have been included in one of these other states. That's the only thing I can figure. So a lot of people are ending support for us, although Hamburg supports us. Cool. So our GDP is kind of skyrocketing, right? There's no doubt about that. We're number seven worldwide. So that's doing pretty well. We are behind Austria, but our deficit has shrunk dramatically. 
I love it. This is going great. 8, 10, 11. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, weeks left in these expansions, but that's fine. I'm deeply okay with this deficit spending for now. 13.9 million? Yeah, I think we're slowly getting up towards our credit limit. But it seems fine. We do have a battalion in reserve. Uh, what, what does this actually say? Promote existing generals in order to give them higher command limit. You can also assign battalions by recruiting more generals. However, promoting a general is usually recommended over recruiting more. Fair enough. That makes sense. So where are these guys at? This one battalion is in... Where? So if we go in here, we can see North Germany. So we'd want to promote this guy. He's the king and can't be promoted beyond commander-in-chief. So we are going to need another North Germany HQ general. Although, Helmut von Moltke here should be able to command this. So I guess we'll promote him. There we go. Problem solved. That's a weird way to go about it, but sure. Because he wasn't at his cap, I'm pretty sure. Okay, whatever. Great Britain settling their peace deals. Sounds good. We do have these unproductive trade routes, and let's go ahead and cancel those for the time being. Opium is still very expensive. No one is willing to give us any. Fair enough. Ah, Confederation with Anhalt. Consider it done. So that was right out over here. That's already incorporated, so there's nothing to be done there. Beautiful. So we are definitely expanding over this way. Austria is probably very angry about that. And their number of battalions is up there. That's for sure. Our constructions are starting to slow, and I'm noting that we are at negative bureaucracy right now. That said, I do believe that we are still incorporating. And we almost certainly are still incorporating. Where do we see our progress on incorporation? I mean, we can look like up over here. 20 months. Sure. Okay. So... I, I think running a small deficit on our bureaucracy, bureaucracy is okay for right now. People have been complaining about the difference in living standards between us and our neighbors in Hess Castle. After the shop door swung shut, they exchanged a meaningful glance. She didn't even notice you gave her the wrong change. Why do you think I do it? Her sort? They can afford it. I'll be damned if the Hessian think they can come here and flaunt their wealth, expecting us to just tolerate it. Uh, we can criticize economic injustice. So our deficit has been cut virtually in half. I feel like we've hit some sort of a critical mass here. Inefficient agriculture, the industrialists have started complaining about the existence of subsistence farms in Pomerania, stating that their undeniable efficiency should be immediately addressed. The fertile soil of our people suffers, relegated to tired and callous hands, too exhausted from manual labor to perform at a decent level. Too poor to be able to use more advanced tools that would make them more profitable. This industry is just a useless investment. Uh, we could definitely do that. Plus migration attraction. Sounds good. Okay. So we are finishing up constructions here. We do have more always being queued up, which is not shocking. France began embargoing two Sicilies. Hilarious. Cool. So our GDP is kind of skyrocketing, right? There's no doubt about that. It was going up previously, but now it's absolutely skyrocketing with our deficit spending. Which is kind of insane. We have quite a lot of influence coming in, and our authority is doing well. Our bureaucracy is slightly negative, and I think that's okay. As we finish up state incorporation, it should be fine. It's interesting to me, though, that I'm not actually seeing incorporation in this.
That is definitely interesting. Okay, we need wood and fabric. I'm not too concerned about that right now. We do have some states in turmoil. For the time being, that's okay. I would like to figure out what to properly do about this turmoil. Cultural turmoil can impact the whole country in very disruptive ways. The amount of turmoil is equal to the fraction of the state's or culture's workforce that are radical. Okay, fair enough. So that has to do with our radicals here. Cool. And the reason that they are radicalizing is unfulfilled political movement demands, decreases in standards of, standards of living. Sure. We should have increases in our standards of living coming in pretty soon. Nassa has agreed to join our confederation. Done. Where is that? Somehow I don't think that that's it. <laughs> Let's hop into our political lens here and see if it's in here. Okay, looks like it's already underway. Fantastic. We are at minus 43 bureaucracy all of a sudden. Okay. I'm keeping an eye on our bureaucracy for the time being. But I think it'll be okay. We should finish incorporation, yeah, 12 weeks over here. So I'm not too concerned about that necessarily. We'll work on that. And we can see that we're definitely getting more credit cap than our deficit at this point. So we appear to be completely fine for that. Oh, okay. We unlocked some additional things. Fantastic. We can check through our buildings and see if there's any additional production techniques that that unlocked us. It looks like that was mostly cultural stuff. So that'll be... Uh, probably most likely to be in, like, universities. Yeah. For now, it's fine. And let's... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely feeling like we're completely okay with our deficit spending right now. No doubt about that. Our deficit keeps getting bigger, and so does our interest payment, to be clear. Or rather, our, our credit keeps getting bigger, and our interest payment does as well. But our deficit is getting smaller. That's the important thing here. It is, however, time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue going into debt. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Kazerol, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Atala, Shadow Wolf, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.